Well, um, hi everybody. Um, I say the dude would be very excited. Um, during our days together, our chats together, we did have a lot of fun, uh, I must admit. And uh, a lot of crazy ideas were banded left and right. Um, so just to give you a little bit of insight, uh, I said once uh, about the fact that, you know, if, uh, you know, when we're in the bit of a lull, we could sort of generate like a, a false um, argument whereby we seem to be falling out. And that's where obviously the Captain Crunch thing came from. Um, the dude also suggested, because there was a couple of times when, you know, sort of early hours of the morning, um, say two, three o'clock, I'd, I'd watch a live video where he was able to get home early and, and go say at uh, seven o'clock, seven or eight o'clock. Um, eight hours, no. Maybe if, if he got even home, home even earlier. But there was a couple of times when he would crack open a couple of Stella. And he was he was always good fun for having a couple of Stella. Um, at, uh, you know, fun loving at the best of times, but even more relaxed. Even more the dude when he'd had a couple of beers. And he, he suggested one day we should you know, do a, a live video where we both had a, you know, a skinful. Um, the eight hour difference was always going to be problematic in that regard um but it, as i say it never it never stopped it, it well we, we certainly kept um hurling friendly insults at one another um hence the reason for this particular eric Ozy video that i'm going to share with you now just for fun um some of you may not even know uh there's not many people that are of the over seven thousand people that have subscribed to eric Ozy on making a murderer there's only a few hundred subscribed to his Doctor Who channel. Um, and this was a video that he put out on his Doctor Who channel, which was, you know, for, for the Doctor Who stuff. Um, it was also, he was very much into the, uh, you know, uh, typical sort of television game shows. Um, and I know he did a lot of stuff about Scottish independence, uh, particularly with the, the lovely uh, show in Sunshine. Um, and it was starting to really uh, come together well. Uh, unfortunately, he, uh, as we know, uh, August the 1st last year, um, he went up to the big YouTube studio in the sky. But um, let's, uh, let's very quickly run through. This is less, less than five minutes. It's uh, the dude poking fun at me, um, which was typical for him. Some things never change. And best of it is we get a bit of Stacy Seabrook at the start. So let's do that. Click on that, sit back and enjoy the next four minutes and 47 seconds. Wisconsin can be so cold. Justice can erode if we accept lies big and bold. Oh, we forget, we live on Avery Road. Hello everybody, this is Eric Cozy on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover the Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey cases, but also as time passes I've been covering other cases such as The Staircase or OJ and many wrongful convictions of youth. Uh, I go over the documents, the photos, the videos, anything case related. So stay tuned because I have many more videos just like the one you're about to see. Hello there ladies and gents. So I woke up this morning and it appears that, that Mr. Capaldi's in kind of full haver mode again um talking about tie knots okay so here's my response to mr capaldi's tie knots i love it when he does this stuff on my day off when i can actually do this type of thing right now for you guys for me and him to have a little bit of fun so this here okay and if you guys saw i'll leave a link to his video down below but if you saw his video this is as he refers to a Windsor knot. Okay, that's what that knot is. If you want, okay, just to show that I know how to tie that. 
But it's not my preferred knot. It's not mm. the way, I kind of like the way I normally tie it. I like the thinner knot, the smaller, tighter knot. Just you know. But that's hey, whatever. Let's let's leave it up to you guys, the Kose heads, the ones that are actually subscribed to the channel that this video is on. Let's leave it up to you guys. What do you think? Do you prefer the big, bulky Windsor knot or the one that I usually tie, which is Windsor knot <laughs> is a bit of a pain to untie as well, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> So the way I normally tie it, and 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 Paul, by the way, you had it wrong. You the way I tie my tie. Um, so I go around, and Paul says that right here is where I come up. Okay. So Paul is saying that I come up there, after going around once. No, he's wrong. So what I do is I go around okay. a second time, because I. Want the knot to be a little bit bigger, but not so big that it, it, it makes Mr. Capaldi look like he's possibly trying to compensate for something. But anyway, <laughs> um, I won't get into that. So I take it around the second time. Okay. Then I go through. Okay, that way I have a little bit bigger of a knot, but, you know, not too much. And, you know, like so. And that's how I tie my knot. So, he got it wrong because he thought I only went around once the way I tie mine. But, hey, I wanted to demonstrate that I'm able to tie the knot, the Windsor knot, I just think the Windsor knot's a little too big and bulky, personally. Um, you know, Mr. Capaldi maybe learned that style because he's maybe compensating for something. I don't know. Hey, look, it's just speculation, of course. But anyways, so just having a little fun with Mr. Capaldi here this morning. Uh, talking about tie and ties, right? I do thank Mr. Capaldi for the tie. This is, as I've always said, this is another symbol of international support from Scotland, from the Havering Scotsman over there and um you know in gala shields so hey if everybody out there watching this if you haven't already please hit subscribe and we'll see ya you know that i i i'm amazed watching that video that um you know when you see the size of his fingers you could see how he was struggling to tie his tie knot i always assumed that auntie shari did it for him but uh it seems that he, he he was actually capable of tying his own tie knot. So uh, so well done, dude. Okay, as I say, we all we always had great banter, um, and uh, we, we we do we all miss him so much. But anyway, um, as I say, he's up there in the big YouTube in YouTube studio in the sky, telling everybody about how much his uh, fans and supporters appreciate him. So anyway. Um, Roll on this afternoon. Can't wait. Catch you all soon. Bye for now.